How's it going guys? My name is Rob Ghost and welcome back to Power World. Last video actually kind of blew up an insane amount, like top video beyond the charts. Uh, and a lot of you guys were asking how to build this base right here. Either a tour or how to build between the two. So I'll knock out two birds with one stone and just do the same thing. I'll do both in one video. But uh, we'll start off with the tour. It's not the best lighting outside, but we're going to do this anyway. Alright, on the outside, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much looking like a huge castle. Uh, someone was asking where my breeding pen was, that's where it is, I just have it between these pillars on, on top of my roof. But that's besides the point. Oh hey, my clanmate's online. So I actually have three entrances, it's really dark, you can't really tell, but there's one right there. Up that ramp. Uh, one right there, and then one on the other side, because it's symmetrical. So we'll, we'll just go in the front door, and I'll go from there. Alright, in the front door you got your hot springs on the left, right, left right there, the right. A little bit of decoration at the doors, gotta keep it pretty. And then uh, you've got your fountain, things for your pets to work on, which I need to repair. Things got damaged before I got the walls up, and I actually probably need better better pals and defense in here anyway. But uh, over here's all the, all the farming. That's the resources, which always tend to be full because this late in the game, we don't really need it. Uh, the first gen or that the entrances I was talking about on the left and the right. I'll actually probably turn off my HUD for you guys. There we go. We got crafting stations. More crafting because that one's huge. Crafting underneath the stairs. You go up top. That is very temporary. Trust me, I know it's ugly. It's temporary. I'll fix it. Another hot spring right here. Arcade and pal chill out corner because we all know the pals need to hang out. Take a little seat and watch some... Uh, what are those? I don't want to say Pip up because it's not. What are they called again? I don't know. Whatever they're called. They run across the TV. The pals like it. Got the bar for the adults. Minus that one, because he's a 23-year-old baby. Wherever he is. Over by the eggs. Um, luxury corner. Right there. And then we're back to the uh, the third floor. I don't know why we stay dreams up here. So on third floor right now, we don't really have a purpose for it. But this is going to be a bedroom, eventually. Jeez, the lag. Over on this side, we thought about making it just like a fancy looking arcade. We're not quite sure. And and uh, and these things just go through the roof, uh, through everything except for the roof. I like the looks of them, so I kept it. All right, right and left side are the same, just doors on opposite sides. These are the stairs up to the roof. Take these up. In the first castle, you can't go on the roof. I'm mean, on the uh, top of these pillars. Doesn't really matter. Here's the breeding. There's more towers. I, they're not really practical, they're just kind of cool looking. So like when PvP servers come out, if they're what we think they are, it's uh, this this isn't going to exist. The base is going to be more practical than PvE, which I'm sure everyone understands it needs to be that way. But yeah, that's from the bottom to the top, so after the tour, let's get, in, let's get right into how to build it, because a lot of you guys were... Just wondering how to build it. You like the looks of it. So I'm gonna grab some stone and head over to a flat spot and just start building it, I guess. Alright, not the most ideal um, lighting for this. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do because of the lighting. We're gonna just stand here and wait until it looks better. Alright, server crashed there for a second, but it looks like uh, it's actually brighter anyway. So we're just gonna go ahead and get ready on the build. Alright. So obviously you don't have to use stone foundations, that's what I use, you can use metal if you want. What we're actually going to have to do at this spot, which a, a lot of you guys are going to have to do, is raise the foundation a bit so you can put it on top of stone. Because like right here, you can't put it. You raise it up a tiny bit, you can put it, and then you can actually, uh, never mind, you can't place that right there. Sometimes it lets you, it's, uh, it's, it's funky. You can destroy it too and place it where it is, but that takes some time. Alright, so the base is... Like the, the non-edited foundation, you're going to do a 10 by 11. Alright, there's 10. And we're already having a minor rock. Cool. Alright, so that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so then 11, so 10 by 11. Three, four, five. 
Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Right, how much is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, I already see it coming. 9. Alright, we need two more going this way. Alright, they're gonna fight real quick. So that's 10 by 11. And uh, keep in mind, the shorter side, the, the 10, uh, that's gonna be your, your main middle point, so like the front door is gonna be over that way. And we're getting raided. I'm gonna let my buddies deal with that while I build this. Get in your Pokeball, get in your Pal Sphere, because I don't want this game getting taken down. Alright, so we're just gonna do the outline. There's no reason for me to completely rebuild the base when when I can just show you guys and get the uh, get the basic idea. So that's the main main core. It's just a huge block. What you're gonna do after that block is uh, go two in, and then you're gonna place some foundations out the back that are too wide. You're gonna do that on both sides, and then you're gonna attach them. That's gonna be that back spot that has the stairs. I'm not gonna fill that in. You you know where this is going. So that's the back spot with the stairs. Then on this side, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Let me go check my other base and make sure it's the fifth real quick. All right, I checked the other base. It's uh oh wrong button. So you're gonna count in one, two, three, four, five, and on this fifth one, place uh, a foundation. Just two of them, or you could do four. I think I actually have four on my base because you have the door right there, and then you have the extra two for like the railings. Back over to the front side. We're just gonna find the center. So that's right here, I believe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so there's the center. Same thing you're gonna place. Four blocks, and you're hurting me. All right, so there's those four. This side, we're gonna do the same thing. And keep in mind, this this one's actually not centered. Like uh, like this side has three pieces sticking out. This side has four. We do that for uh, or I guess I do that because I built the base. I do that because. The, uh, the farming takes up more space, and the mining takes up more space than the crafting does. So I just have it set that way. Alright. And then you're gonna go to your walls. This is gonna be an entrance. So in there is gonna be your door frame. I have my first room, or actually every single one of my rooms are three tall. I need to grab some more stone. Alright, and then you're gonna, you're, you're gonna get some stairs. So, uh, three high stairs. The three entrances. You got that? And then you're going to have uh, stairs upwards right here. So after you get your, your walls down, I'm just doing an example right here. I'll take you to the real base to show you what it looks like. You're going to get the stairs right there, a roof right there, and then you're going to attach another stair to, uh, to this. Some roofs. And then one more set of stairs will go up. That'll lead to second floor. I don't have a pal box here, and we don't have a spare one to just throw down, so this is all going to be destroyed anyway. So after you got the floor layout, I'm going to take you to the actual base and show you what that looks like so you can expand on this. Just keep in mind that these floors go the same all the way up the building. You're not changing the floor plans or anything other than like a balcony, which I'll show you in a second. So we're going to jump over to the other base. I'll finish showing how to build right there. All right, we're back at this base. I forgot... Or I guess I kind of messed up. We're... It, it's actually a 10 by 10 not a 10 by 11 So, don't go 11 out. 10 by 10 And then for this front entrance, you have your middle point right here. You're going to do two sets of four in front of that. And I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully I didn't mess anyone up. Hopefully you're not like watching this as you're building. Because, uh, yeah, then you're going to have to delete a tiny bit. It's whatever, you get your resources back. Just make sure to make it a 10 by 10 on the front side, two sets of four. Left, one set, right, one set, and then uh, I'll show you the stairs. Now we're going to the base, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I messed that up a tiny bit, but it's okay. All right, now we're at the main base. I'll show you why you have the four. So this first set of four is going to be inside your base. The second set is going to be outside. So we're using the second set as decoration. First set, indoor. Keep that in mind. 
It's a little bit confusing, so I'm doing my best to just, like, go over it. So, right here is where the 10x10 is. This is the corner of the 10x10. So it goes 9 that way. I'm gonna turn off my head. 9 that way. 9 that way. 10x10. 10 10. Just trying to go over that as many times as I can. Alright. So, after you get your 10x10, 10 10, around all of that, you're gonna throw up a set of three walls. You can put windows where you want them. I kind of have mine all over the place. It looks fine, however you're doing, but... It is what it is. Alright, so you walk through the front door. On this side, after everything's surrounded with three walls high, you're gonna have a wall put up right here. Count two spaces. Wall put up right there. And then attach that to the end. And make sure to leave these doorframe spaces open. That's gonna be your farming room. You're gonna make that symmetrical on this side. This is your wood and mining room. I'm sure you can decorate it and put things wherever you want. And then on this side, coming out from the door, we're coming three out. That is blinding. And then uh, just put it around the corner and straight up. That's all there is to walls on the interior. And then like I was talking about on the stairs. Once it's three high, you get that stair attached. Ceiling, stair attached. Ceilings, so they both line up. And then you're going to attach this to the actual roof right here. This roof's sitting on top of those three high walls you had earlier. So, you're probably going to have to place this roof before you can get the stairs. Just climb up and get it done. And you're going to leave this section, this 2 by what is it, 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, 2 by 6 You're leaving that open all the way other than the stairs. You can use benches as, uh, as railing between if you want. But, as far as this middle goes, we're just leaving it open from the corner of the walls. It, all, all four corners match up. Leave that open. If you want, you can enclose it. I like the open look to it. And then I do the same bench thing to double stack them high and get them out here. Balcony. We're just putting two roofs out. They don't need support. They just... They go out, attached to that one. And surrounding those with more benches. I actually have another design I'll show you at the end of the video that I did for balconies, but it's a bit harder to do. So I'll, I'll come back to that at the end of the video. Decorate this however you want. Keeping the room open. This 4x1 four by, four by piece right here that comes out was just above that indoor part we had. And it's keeping the structure. So we go up to third floor. Same sort of thing. Open floor, same exact measurements. Corners of the walls. You don't have to wall it off, but I came out... Because I think this is... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I came out seven and I put a wall. Attached the wall all the way across. Did the same thing on that side. Because in my back room that I have open right now, I think it'd be cool to add like a throne right there if there is one. This this room would be cool to decorate when I get around to it. But on the left side, I just counted one out from this corner. Built a wall. It's So this room was a two by six. I, I would get rid of that, but it would pull the whole thing down, so we're not going to do that. So it was a 2x6. I made the door from right here, you walk in, stairs up, and they just keep wrapping around on top of each other until you get to the top. This is the ceiling right here. So when you get up here, don't worry about it, just wall off the whole ceiling. Wall off. Ceiling off the whole roof. End to end, and it'll look like a box. When you get done with the box, you can either do castle towers like I did, which is just uh, a 3x3. Three three. And I'm sure you can figure out a way to just wrap stairs up however you want. This is placed right on the edge of where those corners meet. So all, all the way up against the corner of the castle, actually. Uh, you're going to want one here, one there. Then these ones are 2x3s. So that back section from earlier created a corner all the way up the side of the building. You're just going to put that on top of this, a 2x3. Same with that side, this is symmetrical again. Come on, door. Open up, thank you. 2x3 wrapping around just like we did to get up to the roof. You got that. Do the same thing over there. This one, I didn't really design that well. You can do what you want with it. Or you can copy this. I just made it a 4x2. 
on the very center back, that the same part that we had the stairs going up earlier. And I picked a side, and I sent the side up. And I wrapped it around and sent it up. Not fancy, I know. It looks good from the outside, in all reality, you're not going to be in here. So, it's whatever. Then on every corner of this roof, whether it's on top of the towers or down below, you're going to put two of these um, stone triangle walls. And you can use your scroll wheel or on console, I'm not sure what it is, but you know how to rotate. Just make sure you form corners on each side. And then in the middle, if there's a section, corners right there. On this side, since it's just one space, I left it open. There's nothing you can really do with that. But leave those corners there. Same with over there, one space in the middle, left it open. And then between, ramp them up to the castles. If there's two spots between, but triangles, if not, leave it open. If you built the base exactly like me, it should leave it open anyway. I mean, it should leave it fine. So, in this case, the corner, I made that. There was one slot, but it was also attached to a wall, so I sent that up. You get the idea, that's the roof. And then the breeding pen, someone was asking about it. It is on the roof. There's probably better spots you can put it down below, but that's where it is. And then the walls, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to make walls, so you can just wrap them around. And that's the base build. If you have any questions at all, or are confused whatsoever, because I know I, I haven't really done one of these tutorials before, I just had a lot of people asking. I know it'll be really confusing, sort of. And I didn't really go in depth on how to build it from the ground up, I just showed you. So please ask away if you have any questions, I can make YouTube shorts, I can remake the entire video if I need. I'll go out of my way and dedicate an entire... I, I'll even destroy another base spot temporarily just to get this done. Because I know you guys want this. But uh, like I promised earlier, we're going to go check out the other balcony. Alright, this is another project I was working on. Same sort of castle, but a bit smaller. My buddy wanted it, so... So on his, he's kind of keeping the same design, but more more geometry. And he has his breeding, uh, breeding pen outside. And he likes my floor design. So that whole floor roof, whatever you call it. He likes it, so we left it. And then I came up with a new balcony design on this base. So we still have the two um, benches stacked on top of each other for the wraparound. But I found out if you go really janky, you can stack these wooden bar stools on top of each other and make it to the roof. The only problem is you got to like stack a few and build a pillar right here. You can stand on to stack some more and you got to build that standing still higher and they have to make one to jump up. It's confusing. I personally would say stay away from it unless you really like the looks of them that much. But uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's the whole base. I don't think I'm missing anything. Scratch that. I was missing something very important. There was a, a, a specific person that was asking me how I got the stone gates in the slot that doesn't... Um, I'll, I'll do it on this side because I have the roof or I have the walls up there. Walls will stay above, by the way, as long as you have a roof connecting it. If you don't have a roof, then the wall, then the walls will crumble down when you destroy it. When you destroy the bottom one. So yeah. All right. Whoever it was, I'll, I'll post your comment. I'll pop it up on the screen. Whoever it was that asked me how to get the doors, what you're gonna do is pull it down to like these stairs or somewhere you can line them up. So I use those uh, little crevices on the side, and then I just try to line it up so the uh, so it's not crooked. After I get it lined up pretty good, I walk forward, line up the center with the center of that, and then I place it down. It doesn't get flush to the wall, but it's close enough that you're first of all not going to realize, and uh, second of all, you need, you need a door, so that's how you do it. Build that crap up, and you're good. That's, uh, that's how you do the doors. Sorry I almost forgot after I promised you that I'd do that. Alright, that's the base. Like I said, any questions, just let me know. I'll try to make it right. Um, if you enjoyed, or you like the base design, or you'd like to see more content in the future, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Totally optional and up to you. This content stuff is free, so do what you will. And uh, thank you guys for the video idea. I hope to see you in the next one.